Hello there friends, it's Cassie. Welcome back for another video here on my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be playing with some Simon Hurley Create products. The new stuff, we've got our flowering mandala and our matching stencil that goes along with it. It's amazing. We're also going to bring in the kaleidoscope flowers background. I love those. And yes, Max is not going to leave the table. Could I make him? Yeah, I could, but I'm not going <laughs> to. All right, I have a piece of cardstock that measures about six inches. I'm going to put that into my Misty. And I am going to put that flowering mandala in there. I have some shady Simon Hurley Create ink. This stuff is beautiful. It's a beautiful dark gray. And I'm going to ink that mandala up and I'm going to stamp that down onto my cardstock. I'm going to use, you know, a, a tool to help me do that. We're going to stamp it a couple of times because I just want to make sure that I have some good coverage all on some of those areas. And then we will pull that stamp out of there after I clean it off a little bit. And then this is where I decide I want to bring in that background. I'm going to put the background right over the top of it. I'm going to kind of adjust my, my cardstock a little bit. We're going to move that over. We'll put our background back in there. Now, when you use these red rubber stamps in your Misty, remember to take out the insides. <laughs> Max wants to help. Uh, and I'm going to bring in the stencil. So here... Uh, they have all the masks and all the stencils. Is This is a great stencil. I'm just going to set that on there. Um, you could use some pixie spray if you wanted, but I'm just going to set that right on there. And I'm going to bring in the shady ink again. Now, my thought process with this was I was going to just kind of stamp it lightly just all over that background. So I'm inking up the whole piece here. And then I am going to stamp it down. And... When I pull it away, there's nothing there, <laughs> so I'm going to really push hard. We'll see. I think that mask is kind of preventing it. I'll, and I pull it away, and we've got a little bit more showing, and I'm going to squeeze it, pick it up, do all those things, and then in the end, I decide I actually really, really like how it's stamped in some areas and not in others. I feel like that makes the centerpiece kind of pop a little bit more, and we're going to make that pop even more with some some selective uh, ink blending but I am going to trim this paper down we're going to trim it down to be about five and three quarters on all sides um, and so you can see obviously that background didn't stamp perfectly but I love it already so I am going to bring in some pixie spray and then I realized later on that there was an easier way to do this with some of the tools that I have so the pixie spray works good to just hold things in place and I'm bringing in some of those inks. Our first ones are some blue ones. We have our Remember Me. That, that's our first color. I'm going to blend that all over our background. And I'm kind of going a little bit light. I don't want it to be too crazy dark here. But I'm going to just take care of that entire background with our Remember Me ink. Then I'm going to put that away and we'll grab in our Midnight Snack. And I'm just going on those edges. We are going to kind of do an ombre there with those two colors. So it's definitely darker on the outside and a little bit lighter on the inside. Then I'll need to move my stencil. So once I pull that stencil away, you'll see how cool that really does look. And it gets cooler with each piece. So I'll peel that away. And that pixie spray does make it a little bit easy to do that. So I'll peel that away, clean up my mess here a little bit, and I'll bring in this other stencil. And I was thinking, boy, am I going to pixie spray all of these? And then I thought, no, darn it. You have that tonic platform. So pull that in and use those magnets that you have because this is the best way to really do it. Pixie spray works fine if that's what you have. But if you don't, this tool makes it super, super easy. All right, so I'm just going to use about four magnets there. Um, and then I need to bring in another one of the stencils. So I'll peel off this centerpiece. I'll bring in this stencil. And we're going to put that down with some more of those magnets. And then I'm going to bring in some green ink. So that first green we're bringing in is some later gator. So I will blend that all around that bit that is showing. We're, we're kind of going with the rainbow here, but we're working backwards. And then our darker color is fake plant. So I'm just going to kind of touch on the edges just a little bit. You almost can't tell that I did it. But we'll just touch on those edges. Then once we're done with that, we can pull away those stencils, clean up our mess, and bring in another stencil. Now remember, all of these come in that flowering mandala stencil. So here we go. We can cover up all the rest of that, tack that down with those magnets again, bring in our center flower, uh, the one that we had used pixie spray on. 
previously. We'll bring that one in and just kind of pop that into place since it still has that pixie spray on it. We don't need to bring in the magnets. And then I'm going to bring in some yellow. So we have our shooting star. And I just stuck with the just, just the shooting star for our yellow. I didn't bring in a darker sh shade or anything like that. We'll clean up our mess, go into the next one using magnets for all of these again. And we're going to bring in some orange. But our first color is slippery when wet, so it's almost a darker yellow, which is so pretty. I think it's actually one of my favorite colors. I use it quite frequently. And then we'll bring in some roar for the edges just to kind of make it seem a little dark on those edges. And then once we're done blending that one on there, we'll pull all of those stencils away again, even the center one. And then we can bring in that final stencil and we'll do some red. And that red color that we're using is Love Struck. And yes, Max has come in to help again. <laughs> and like I said, I could move him, but I'm not going to. Um, yeah. Now I'm going to bring in this stamp set. This is a new stamp set again. It's called Succulents. And I want one of the sentiments from it, just one. And that sentiment says, sending hugs. It's perfect. And so I'll trim it down. And then we're going to get our base ready. So this is going to be a six by six inch card. So you will have to use a little bit more um, postage to send this one in the mail, but it's a six by six. And then I'll just use some liquid glue to adhere down my panel to the front. If you could find a way to make it smaller, which very easily you could, um, you could put it in a five by seven envelope if you could make it that small. And then I am going to use some foam tape on the back of our sentiment just to pop it up a little bit, but I'm not going to do anything else to this. I feel like that background is super fun, vibrant, um, just really pretty. I'm happy with it. So we're going to use a little T ruler to pop down our sentiment to make sure it's nice and straight. And then once we're done with that, that's going to finish off the card for today. I do love how this one turned out. I think it's so pretty, even prettier in real life. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Definitely consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And as always, I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye, everybody.